Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. Today our special guest is Mike Scary. And Mike, you're the, the president of the Hospitality Days Co Committee. That's right. right. That's right, yes. Bob. Been the president for the last couple of years after Ricky became a, a city councilor and now the deputy now mayor. Now the deputy mayor. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, he's wandering around yeah. here picking up uh, cans and stuff yeah. today. So. He's, he's, been, he's been great. I mean, he, he still stands on the committee. He's been a liaison with the city. Um, and, you know, without the city support and without the, the big sponsorship support from our great businesses in this area, Hospitality Days definitely wouldn't happen. No, and, right. and it's and Hospitality Days has been here for, like, I remember being a kid in Hospitality yeah. Days and then it shut down for yeah. a few years. But Hospitality Days is more than the parade. It's more than the fireworks. It's more than, the, than this stage yeah. and the show underneath the tent. So let's just talk about that a little bit. Well, I think what it is, Bob, is it, it's a chance, you know, unfortunately, here in the Bathurst area, in a lot of areas, people have to move away for one reason or another. Yeah. And Bathurst Hospitality Days becomes a time for them to get back together. Absolutely. Okay, they plan their Absolutely. holidays. As soon as Hospitality Days ends this year, we're getting phone calls already to say, okay, when is it next year? They're planning family reunions. They're planning golf tournaments. They're planning uh, uh, school reunions. I mean, we have two or three school reunions going well, on. Well, my wife tonight. has a school reunion tonight. Well, there's a tw I think there's a 20th and a 30th going on yeah. uh, this weekend. Um, and, and again, we mentioned about golf tournaments. Weddings. We even had, a couple years ago, a wedding that was planned during hospitality days because of the entertainment that we had. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, after the, after the wedding reception kind of thing in the afternoon, Everybody showed up here at the tent, and this is what you know, man. What, well, a, what an awesome! <laughs> I guess that's it. There was no band, there was no no yeah. hall rental or anything like that. But Excellent. no, it, it's 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 really all about community and people getting back together. And you yes. see so many people saying, "Okay, we're going to meet at the tent, and we're going to have fun at the tent," and that's what it's all about. Well, and, and here's a chance for us at, 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 during this interview to talk about this. And yeah. we talk about a lot of people moving away and stuff, yeah. but there's also a lot of people starting to move back home. That's true. And, and hopefully a lot of it is due to the fact yep. that they've been here and they've been mm -hmm. up with their friends and, and, and again started rekindling those old yep. spirits of being back and back. You know what's really interesting too, just uh, not that long ago, we met a fellow in Cuba uh, a few years back. He moves to New Brunswick, to Bathurst, because he was here three years ago for Hospitality Days, came again the following year and said, man, you know what, when everything's all finished in Ontario and uh, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm coming to Bathurst, and he is. Yeah. And you're finding a lot more people moving yeah. from Ontario to Quebec. Well, there's to, so much, uh, so much that the so region has to offer. And, yeah. and and again, like you know, right now it, it's full of festivals, mm -hmm. right? This last weekend was a festival that I'm out in Petit Marché, so that brings a crew. Yeah. And that's an interesting festival. That is itself, too. Rolling yeah. across the bay. Mm -hmm. Then this week is Hospitality yeah. Days, and that segues into, into the Blues, blues, the blues de la Bay right. next week. Yeah. And speaking of blues, okay, listen, I'm I, I, look, I was hoping uh, you were going to go this way because... Yeah. I'm a big blues lover, yeah. and, and you've got Matt Anderson mm -hmm. coming in here on, on, uh, on yeah. Saturday night. And people that, you know, say, well, you know, I'm really not crazy, but you got to come out and see Matt. Like, I've been following him since he started his career. Mm -hmm. I go to a lot of blues festivals right. and stuff, and he is phenomenal. He's a young man from Perth, Andover. And he's got international stardom mm -hmm. now. You know, I, I've bumped into him in airports, all okay, different places, right. and heading here and there. Mm -hmm. And he is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. He's got an incredible voice. He plays guitar like you would, yeah. I believe. I guess the energy is, I, I have only seen video stuff. I've never seen him live. Yeah. And one of the things that we're hearing a lot about is people are calling from Fredericton, Moncton, Halifax area. And one of the things that they really like about it is it's Matt Anderson and his band. Because yeah. a lot of times, I guess, I, I, well, he, I, does I, both. He, he does both, yeah. but I guess a lot of times he, he, he does perform more in an acoustic kind of setting. Yeah. So there's yeah. a lot of people who are really oh, no, excited no, no, no. about this. And, and sure. I've seen both before. Yeah. Matt, as you know, we talked about it a bunch of times. I go to, to the yeah. Irish Jazz Blues, mm -hmm. and people would, uh, would hire Matt for an afternoon wow. to come in to play on their deck. Okay. okay. And this was when he was first starting. Yeah. I wouldn't want to pay the bill now. No. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it, when, whenever we've done those. Uh, Facebook surveys or any online surveys, Matt Anderson's name has always been at the top of it. Ticket sales are going well. There's still tickets left, man. I mean, right. you know, and I, I really think we're going to, I think it's going to be a rocking year. Oh, it's sure. got to be yeah. rocking. Anyways. And we're, you're going to be right up front, aren't you? Oh, God. <laughs> you can take pictures of me. Hey, no here problem at all. Yeah. So, there again, uh, you know, Northern Heat. Uh, Mike Scary and his team. And let's before I take yep. off though, is that it's just not Mike Scary and a no, no, team. man, no. You've got a number of people that are part of this. We've got you know we've got the executive committee ourselves, and there's eight of us. Okay, um, we have a great group of volunteers that help with all of our events. 
we have people that have been with us at the bar that work in the bar area for the last 10 15 years oh, yeah. um food. And, and yeah and the food and and that's another thing it, it just brings so many people together to work together and that's what that's what's really great about the bathrooms in the surrounding area a yeah. lot of corporate people a lot of business people and you know something bob we, we did our opening ceremonies over at the promenade waterfront and one of the things that i really want to stress is you know there's a lot of businesses that support things going on in our area so right. when you're out looking for business and you're out you want to buy your refrigerator you want to buy whatever it is you want to buy buy local those are the people that are supporting yeah. the festivals those yeah. are the people that are supporting the things that go on right here in our community they're proud of our community let's be proud of them and help them man and the other thing is too is that you know six degrees of separation doesn't work in our region no and everybody knows each other mm -hmm. and if you want to get something done all you have to do is ask that's and everybody right. is always willing to say that's right yeah there, i haven't seen any event or anything no. happen or anything that anybody was trying to put together that there wasn't somebody stepping up to really that's right so yeah. again mike i want to appreciate Bob, you thank you very, very much thank you for thank everything you. that you're doing yep. and bringing everything together there's another edition of northern heat putting on the heat in northern new brunswick and if you know of anybody that's doing these kind of things to really promote our region mm -hmm. and stuff let us know and uh we'll put them on uh, on air and do an interview with and them. bob thank you very much for this because this is incredible i've been watching this since it started on uh, facebook and that yep. you're doing great stuff for the community and for our region Good. not just the bathurst area but the northern part of the province of new brunswick you're doing a great job thanks man Good. thank you very much thanks there we are another edition of northern heat for this week